In this video, we will be taking you through the Taiga mobile app, an essential step in your Taiga ownership journey. You can download the Taiga mobile app from the Google Play or Apple App Store for a seamless ownership experience. If this is your first time using the app, tap Sign In, then tap Sign Up Now. Start by using the email address associated with your Taiga vehicle, the one used in your delivery documentation. Enter the verification code sent to your email and make sure you create a strong and unique password for your Taiga account. You can now log on using your email and newly created password. If you have already logged in and used the Taiga app, the same information stands. Just log in normally. Here's an overview of what you can do in the Taiga app. If you have multiple Taiga vehicles, tap on the vehicle icon on the right hand corner of your screen to see all your vehicles. Tap the vehicle you want to select. If your vehicle does not show up on your app, please reach out to our service team at service at taigamotors.com. The main vehicle page displays key information, starting with the state of charge of your vehicle. Going down, you see your vehicle's GPS location. By tapping vehicle info, you can see your vehicle's serial number and total usage. In support, you can see the contact info of our service team and a link to the owner's zone of our website, where you can find additional information and instructions for your vehicle. In the settings section, you can change a variety of settings like vehicle name, drive modes, Wi-Fi, and user access. To change the name of your vehicle, go to settings and tap on name. Once in this section, rename the vehicle to your chosen name and tap save. In order to connect your Taiga vehicle to Wi-Fi, head to Settings, tap Vehicle Wi-Fi, then tap Connect to Bluetooth. You must be within Bluetooth range of your vehicle. Once your vehicle has been found, tap Pair. Once the vehicle is connected to Bluetooth, tap on Vehicle Wi-Fi again. From here, you will see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Tap on the one you want to connect to and enter the password. Follow the same process whenever you want to connect to a new Wi-Fi network or personal hotspot. Let's go over the charging features. Your vehicle must be plugged in to access charging settings. When it's plugged in, you'll see Charge Settings. Tap Charge Settings and move the dial to the left or right to set up the vehicle's charge limit and maximum current. Tap Apply and you're good to go. Now let's go over Drive Modes. Tap Settings, then tap Drive Modes. There are three preset drive modes available on your vehicle, Range, Sport, and Wild. You can enable and disable drive modes to customize what is accessible to riders. Take away modes by tapping the red minus icon and add modes by tapping the green plus icon. You can also click on the modes to see the power output and the throttle response it corresponds to. You can also create your own custom drive modes. Tap on one of the custom modes and slide the dial to adjust the power output and throttle response. You can then name and save the mode. Please note, the vehicle must be on and not in drive in order to create and save drive modes. From settings, you can manage user access. To add a new user, tap add new user. Enter the new user's email address and select whether they will have user or admin access levels. Admin and owner access levels are able to invite people to gain access to the mobile app, as well as modify drive modes which those with user access are not able to do. If you have any questions, just reach out to our service team at service at tigermotors.com. For more information and how-to videos, check out the owner's zone on tigermotors.com.